Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be uh, the Feud Battle series. Uh, this is KO from two feuds ago, not this last one, the one before. There is a, I believe it was a 200% black move damage line bonus. Um, I had the uh, Hogan plate on Rocky. Normally I would, or in the past, I had run that on KO, but I wanted to run Rocky that way so people could see Rocky with it. So this is KO with no plate. 40% uh, move damage trap, 40%, or I mean double takedowns, twos, and a maxed black move damage metal. And I am using EO for more black move damage. Uh, East unlocks um, Gooker and Ted as well, right? So I understand the trainers are more rare, but this is how I run him in feud, right? So, but no plate. Uh, there was the line bonus. This should let you guys see uh, speed on KO and how he all works, etc. Uh, so here he's going to go against Zombie Dom. If they don't have anti-stun, there's nothing they can do. Uh, it's just kind of go time. The stun is starting off at, uh, what is that, 3.7 mil uh, with the 200%. One mil on the cannonball, which loads the sub-a-dub-dub. -dub. I use the sub simply to load, not drain. Uh, so I don't... I don't want the extra turns of the sub, so I usually put it down in a block uh, so it's done quicker. Since they're stun locked, there's really no reason for the sub turns. Uh, just keep it going. And so KO is pretty solid speed wise with this line bonus and no plate and setup. Not like super duper duper fast, but he's okay and he's very safe. Uh, so I would rate him okay speed-wise, but incredibly safe against six-star bronzes. Six-star silvers, the speed is 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 slow. Um, unless you have a Hogan plate, then it's again okay. But it's very very safe. Uh, so if you need somebody that can take out uh, somebody scary, uh, Ko is great for that plate or no plate. Uh, so he'll help a lot of rosters out. You're obviously going to lose some damage if you don't have EO. Not so much if you don't have Gooker, really, to be honest. Um, he doesn't add a huge, huge chunk. So if you don't have um, Gooker, you could easily put flat black gem damage or flat blue gem damage, either or. Uh, because of how I use the sub, I don't use it as a sub. I just use it to get... Uh, refill and go faster. I think the blue would be better though because of its three columns. So flat blue uh, instead of Gooker would go quite well. But you can see these are about one minute wins so far. Uh, Gable here has more hit points. This might take a little bit long. Oops, I just clicked the wrong button. Um, I forgot which one we were on here. I think we're on Gable right here. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. I got sidetracked, don't mind me. Uh, I don't usually do this a lot, voiceover and stuff, so... Easy for me to click the wrong button. But the gameplay is really simple. Uh, and you just keep looping it, right? Now Gable's gonna end up being a little bit longer. But not super long. So yeah, it's safe, uh, but it's not super duper speedy speedy, you know? And this will finish it out. So this one was a lot of clicks. I think this one was like a minute and a half, uh, which is too slow for me. I like being more around a minute, generally, uh, or less. Obviously, 30 seconds is the dream, or that range. Uh, 45 is solid. A minute is usable as one of my not what I would call best feeders, but everyone is different. And he is like super duper 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 safe. Uh, so you can use him in tough situations. So 
so yeah um really curious again guys as we're going through here and you're watching the ko gameplay uh, what do you think about this series? Because I've been enjoying Feud more because I have a reason, like, potentially outside of just the main um, war score or whatever to keep feuding and doing stuff. It's kept it more fresh for me a little bit, if that makes sense, because it's doing something useful as well. Uh, but I hope you guys are enjoying these. Um, any of the superstars, I have six star. Uh, if I have a strap, unlocked for them i would be more than happy to use in feud battles uh for you guys whether they're great or not assuming there's an actual reason you want to see them um not just you know i want to see merrick's use a crappy character sort of thing uh but if i have a strap unlocked i don't mind using anyone for feud um really uh with the exception like i didn't record any of this last time because i was actually trying to get on the leaderboard uh because i wanted jbl right so i didn't record anything and i just went as fast as i could on everything i didn't want distractions when i was playing uh, but that's very rare for me so most of the time i would be more than happy to run whoever so you guys can see feud gameplay with setups i run in feud and what that looks like i mentioned it before but i do not stream on the weekends so because i take the weekends off to kind of refresh uh play what i need to play in the game other than that i usually do other stuff uh with mrs merrick's and that sort of thing uh so i like getting away from the the content creation aspect uh on the weekends and just taking it easy so i figured this is the best thing i could do since i'm not gonna very unlikely to stream feud anytime soon so i hope you guys are enjoying these it is a little more effort on my part but it's not it's not uh, exceptionally bad a ko's uh, gameplay um can get a little repetitive but to be fair so can bronze although braun is faster and he's still new so i'm still loving braun uh, but it's just the same three moves over and over and you just have to click it a little more often i think that's why it gets repetitive for me because you're doing like usually like six clicks or so every battle sometimes more hogan played helps him out so so much uh, because it's 200% move damage when you do that move I just hit. And then if you do your sub right and break three columns, which I'm not doing here. So if you had the Hogan plate, you would break, set up a column, 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 and break 21 gems per, per column break. You could do rows as well. Uh, then it sets the plate off twice, so buffs in another 200%. So you're getting 400% more move damage every cycle. Um, and that's what you have to do against silvers to make it somewhat time efficient. But yeah, uh, KO's really safe, really solid. I know a lot of people like using him. Um, maybe a touch on the slow side for me and some people, but very strong, very good, very powerful, help out a lot of rosters. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, remember to like, subscribe, and share, as that really helps me out. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and good luck out there. The best KO in the game. Not powerhouse striker. Powerhouse sucks!